here I am in front of historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. I'm on Auburn Avenue at Jackson Street. And now we're encountering the streetcar tracks. If you're on a bicycle, what I would strongly advise to do is to turn left here on Jackson and continue westbound on Edgewood Avenue. Just be careful crossing the tracks. I'm taking the easy way out doing the left turn in two stages. But I still need to get 90 degrees to the rails. So I will. And there we have it. We've got a bike lane here, although somebody's driving the wrong side of the road on it. So here on this side, we don't have any problem. You can see this is Georgia State Bike Route 1. Look at all the wires up there. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it looks like the tracks get a little close right there. But once we're here on Edgewood, the tracks are out of the way and it's no problem. We'll follow the bike lane on into town for a ways. And here where Interstate 75 and 85 crosses over, you still got a bike lane, there's still enough room, and the tracks are easy to cross. Again, if they're wet, 90 degrees. And here we go. No problem. Nothing like a quick selfie in front of the Georgia bookstore. And as you can see, I still have a bike lane here as I go to cross Cortland. Here by my alma mater, Georgia State. The old historic building used to be the home of Coca-Cola. Okay, I just came up that hill on Edgewood. And here at Park Place, the tracks turn right. And you can go straight, at least on a day when there's not an event going on, because as you can see, there's a lot of uh, restrooms there, but look at the signs. Now, look at the other signs over there. Do not enter except bicycles. So that's the way we'll go. Okay, here we go. Now let's see just what we have here. It's kind of hard to tell with all the parked vehicles and everything else looking the way it does. Yeah, we'll get a little close to the tracks, but not right on it. Looks like I picked a rough day to take the video. There's all kind of stuff parked, but that's the bike lane. And I'm not sure what happens now. It looks like the track goes to the left, so we'll try to follow it after we pass these portables. And yeah, the track turns and heads to the west here on Auburn. Now notice if you want to go eastbound, you take Auburn. Don't take Edgewood. But because of that junction here, you may want to go across the tracks first and then turn left. So that's what I'll do. There we go. Pretty close to 90 degrees. Now, here's what you have. You've got a loading platform. <coughs> Not too much room. We'll turn right on Peachtree. Sorry about all the wind noise. Now you could take another street, but hey, this is Peach Street. I'm still going to ride it. Not going to run the red light, though. And we have another loading platform. Now 
and a special signal because it looks like the route turns and I'm going to stop. Yes, here only the streetcar can turn left. Unless you're on foot, which I am now. Yeah, not even bicycles are supposed to go down this, at least in the street, on wheel. Yeah, it's a pretty steep downhill anyway. So I'll start riding again shortly. We'll see where this goes. Yeah, that's Carnegie Way. No problem riding here, except it's kind of close with parked cars. So now we'll keep going on Spring Street before I run out of time. Now, this is another tight fit. So let's do it. And stop sign. If I can figure out what street this is. And yet another red light as we cross William Street. And I'm on Andrew Young International. We've got another tight fit up here, but it's not too bad. I hope it'll keep riding good. I don't usually pass motor vehicles on the right, but I am this time. And as you can see, this road is closed, but look at what the streetcar line does. It turns left and goes up there. And here we are at Centennial Olympic Park Drive. One day I'm going to come down there and soak in those fountains, but doing that with a video camera is bad luck. Hi, y'all. So the track briefly runs on this one-way street and then turns, and I shall too, but in two stages. Yes, the tracks turn left right by Skyview Atlanta, the giant Ferris wheel here they have now. I'll have to try that someday. I think someone in the left turn lane wouldn't have any problem with this. But if you're doing it in two stages, you might want to think about being a pedestrian a little bit longer as you cross here, unless you can get 90 degrees. Which I'm not, I'm gonna walk it. Well, after completing the turn on the Lucky Street and going past the sky view, how lucky will you be? Well, if all these joint lines stay in step with one another, it may not be too bad, but if they get out of line, woo wee, looks like it'd be kind of tricky. Now notice that I'm riding a little bit out of the door zone, but sometimes you're in it when you're between the tracks and parked cars. Here's our cross Spring Street. Yep, so far I'm pretty lucky. But here's another loading zone. And we'll stop. Hi, y'all. Hello. See, there's an example of the door zone. It's not too far away. Hopefully, we won't open it again. Yay. So now we're getting close to five points again. I got a road work sign blocking me. Can I cross the tracks? Yes, because I'm on a bike Friday, but I don't expect you to be able to do that. So I walk it and I walk back.
and I just crossed Peachtree Street. How about that? Now as I approach Park Place again, look at what you see. A no bicycle sign. How about that? Yeah, it wouldn't be too fun going this direction on Park Place because you got another loading zone. But if you go straight down Auburn, it's got bikes may use full lane, so let's do it. We go past the old telephone company buildings, and we got one car back, so I'll let them go by. And the lane is actually fairly good size. Oh, they turned good. And they have share the road arrows or sharrows in the lane. Here's we passed by the present day telephone company building, formerly known as 51 Ivy, because this used to be Ivy Street we're going to cross, but now it's Peachtree Center Avenue that we're crossing. Wow, it's a good thing they have the sharrows because this lane is not very wide. But yeah, the streetcar track is on the other side, and so you don't have to worry about them over there. So that's the idea, is to go eastbound on Auburn, westbound on Edgewood. Okay, let's pretend I want to turn left here. I want to turn left across the tracks. What should I do? Well, I'll show you as soon as the light changes. Okay, the light has changed. And we got jaywalkers, so deal with that. All right, and before I run out of light, check for traffic coming the other way. Getting as close to 90 degrees to the rails as I can. And continue on. And go around the steel plate. As we go by the 51 Ivy Street, which is now 51 Peachtree Center Avenue. What's up, AT&T? Okay, now I'm back on Auburn Avenue. I've just got Sharrows now. No bike lane. And it's a good thing the bikes may use full lane because the lane's not very wide. At least I have somewhere to go and wait for the light to change, which hopefully it will in just a few seconds. Here by another building from my alma mater, Georgia State, and we're at Cortland Street in Auburn now. And they have an all-red clearance. Thanks a lot. Okay, we finally got a green, and this is really rough. head on down the hill toward I-75 and 85. Yep, this is Sweet Auburn. But it rides rough. Where I'm here at Jesse Hill by Big Bethel. Now that we've passed Jesse Hill, we've got a bike lane again. But again, it's a bit rough because they put in hex pavers. But we'll follow the lane anyway. Oh. And while you're under the bridge, you got a track. So 90 degrees. I wouldn't try that at a high speed. And they have another set of rails here. Since we have a red light, we'll stop and show you that this is a facility that appears to function as a car barn. See the rails go right into the doors. 
be another good place to practice some 90 degree crossings. Although I might get in trouble. But hopefully not. Some of those weren't 90 degrees, sorry about that. Okay, I'm looking back behind me. I crossed that set at 90 degrees. And we'll continue on. Once again, we're back to Sharrows and no bike lane. And I got a car coming, so I'm waiting a few moments. Now I'm moving up Auburn, crossing Hilliard Street, and back to a bike lane as we go by Wheat Street Baptist. As I approach Jackson Street, we come right back to historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. I get 90 degrees to the rails, cross, and I'm all set. And that completes our tour. And I cannot even walk my bike up there. At least not today. But I can give you a view from the street. So I will. Okay, that's the graveside of Martin Luther King and his wife Coretta Scott King. And that does complete our tour. So just remember, use caution when making left turns and U-turns, especially if you're turning toward the side where the tracks are, and you'll be fine. Now we'll wait a few months and hopefully the streetcar will be running. So long now. Safe miles to you.